Continuing our Mondays on Main series, we're hitting a new Kentucky town. Our first stop was Russellville in the western part of the state. Today, we're heading over to Mount Sterling, the seat of Montgomery County, to see how a decades-long revitalization project has brightened up their downtown Main Street. This downtown area has really just taken off in the last decade. Um, you know, a group of people came together and, and just looked at our downtown, which we've got a great downtown, we always have, but just said we can do better. We can start doing small things to just try to make noticeable impacts downtown. So in 2010, a uh, small building came, came up for sale. It had been unoccupied since 1997 and I was able to purchase that building. And so that sort of started my uh, love for the downtown and I was able to refurbish that. And there was only two businesses that had survived more than three years in downtown and every building was basically vacant unless you were a lawyer or a bank. Um, and so we were trying to figure out how could we improve our downtown, make it more user friendly, walkable um, for growth. We needed economic growth. You, you cannot be successful as a solo business. So you have to have other businesses to support you. I love my story of how I came to Mount Sterling. I came for a visit and we were coming through town and we got stopped at the traffic light. And I looked to my right, which is the building that I'm in now, and it was empty, ran down. And I said, oh, look at that building, it is beautiful it would make a beautiful bridal store uh, i lived in florida and i already had an established bridal store where i custom designed all of my wedding gowns and uh my husband's like well whoa 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 this is your first time to town <laughs> but i fell in love with the town immediately and all the warm welcoming people and um about three years later we uh opened up Renee's Brattle here in Mount Sterling and no regrets whatsoever. We have as a city offered small business facade grants and then so we have offered those grants to help businesses here in the city uh, fix up the outside of their businesses whether it's a paint job, a new window, a new door, uh, maybe it's a new sign but to make their business more inviting so people want to come in. And so over the last 10 years, we've really just seen so much excitement for people to want to join together and do what they can to make this community grow. This street's a million dollar street. Uh, we came in and redid the uh, water lines, sewer lines, uh, new gas lines, uh, did this whole streetscape, planted flowers, redid the sidewalks, and look what it's done. Businesses now want to invest here. They want to have a business on this street. Uh, this coffee shop, I mean, wow, what a, what a great impact to our downtown area to have this wonderful coffee shop here. It is not the same town that I opened my bridal store in six years ago. And uh, the businesses just keep coming and coming better and the reason why we're able to do that is because there's a strong heartbeat here in our sweet beautiful town uh, to shop local support the local and to really really back us and so we couldn't do it without them it's really a beautiful town. Mount Sterling's most popular festivity is Court Days, a 220 year old tradition that draws thousands downtown. More great stories like that coming your way on Mondays. Here's a sneak peek at the Main Street we'll be visiting next. Can you identify it? Guess the town in the comments below and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss Mondays on Main. We'll see you next Monday. Take really good care.